Lions Packers Thursday night. And by the way, too, WoodwardSports.com chat thread. I saw Paul Thomas. I just signed up for Amazon Prime. We will see. The, the, the game is available locally on Fox, too. They, the NFL, I guess, does have some degree of soul where they will let the networks in the home markets of the two teams playing carry the game. So, so there is that. It, it will be on Fox, too. Well, that's good. But, Paul, they got you. Enjoy Amazon Prime. But, Paul, let me tell you what. Be careful. I've grown quite accustomed to just pushing a button on my phone and the thing showing up at my door the next day, sometimes later on that night. It's, it's What a time to be alive. It is pretty wild. It, it is. It's incredible. It has cut way down on my visits to the store. But that's not the topic that we want to go with. The, my question, very simply, is this. And Amon Ross St. Brown has chimed in on this as well. You guys know my disdain for Thursday night football, Thursday night NFL football. It hurts the product. It hurts the games. But they get a billion dollars, billion reasons a year from Amazon to do it. I I live in reality, so I can complain about it. But I am liking it when it's my team that plays in it. All the other teams, they suck. I don't want to hear it. But Amon Ross St. Brown, we got this video of him talking about what, what it means to be a player and having that stage. Like. Yeah, I mean, I think for us, it's like we don't. Well, since I've been here, I haven't had too many primetime games, so to get them is nice. Um, you know, everyone's watching. Um, got to put on a show for everyone. Um, we got to play our best brand of football, but it's just nice to know, you know, it's the only game that's on. It's the only game that people can watch. And um, at you know, like at Lambo, division rival, it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting. And that was Amon Ross St. Brown. So obviously, the players get hyped for for what he said. And for me, Dmac, as we. As we move along in this Detroit Lions rebrand, is is kind of what I've phrased this right. Like we're, yeah, so much to Sam Flannel's amazement. Uh, we as we trudge along in this Detroit Lions rebrand, because I think that's what it is. These games are pivotal, and I will weigh it once again with more weight than a regular Sunday one o'clock game with what's on the line, because it'll be trending on Twitter no matter what, good, bad, or ugly. People watch. They're going to watch it, period, end of story. There's a huge opportunity again. And you know what the beauty, I, and I haven't heard anybody say it because it just sort of came to came to mind listening to Amon Ross St. Brown. Having these two Thursday games or whatever, regardless, the imperativeness to win this because of the time you get off and, and hopefully can get back some of these guys that are, that are dinged up. Now, I hope Decker and Montgomery play. Um, and are able to play and know that they have, you know, the, the 10 days to get ready for the next game. I think that the, this, the imperativeness to not only dominate and, and get out in front where you expect to be in your division and, and with this rival, I mean, it's, you, can't, you can't sweep the division without, you know, winning these big games on the road. But, but the big thing, too, is if you can come out of here 3-1 and one and have those extra days of rest, it only sets you up for success even more in my opinion. So that's why it's imperative. Now, I think the the benefit, and somebody brought up in the chat thread, well, you know, yeah, Green Bay is going to be upset and be ready to play because of you went in there and won last year. Yeah, that's great, and you're going to expect Green Bay to give you I don't you the, buy that shit. I don't, Do you, they're they're going to get. They're going to give you the best game they have. But but here's the one thing that I like with the short week and the preparation and, and the heat. Well, they can go back to all like a lot of most of the things that they did successfully in that game. They have tape, and it's recent, right, to the last game of the season. So it's not they're not that far out of knowing their opposition, right? As if they were playing a Thursday game, somebody that hadn't played in the last year or, or out of division contest, it would be a lot a lot tougher for preparation. Dmac, can you set the record straight on that kind of stuff? Because say say it's two thousand one, and you guys are playing at Calgary. And Calgary swept you in Calgary the year before. Beat you both times you were out there. My guess is this, and you tell me if I'm wrong. You say, oh, really? Wow. All right, yeah, well, I'd, well, I'd like to win tonight. I'd like to stop that. And then you don't think about that shit for another second during a game or anything like that. Am I off or no? No, we don't. you don't think about, oh, uh, during the play and all this stuff to, to whatever, you know, your, your game plan and the guys that you're playing out there. But 
there has like the downtime, the in between time on you might think back to something happened that reminded you of the past, right? Oh, I can't make that mistake on this person. He burnt me last time. You know, maybe especially if mental film I call that. Ma- right, exactly. So during the downtime, you may back check and, and relate and this always goes on. But when the play's going on and you're in the heat of the battle and the and the ball's out there, no, you gotta just execute whatever the game the game plan is but some of it comes in because you when you have experience playing against different players too right like i got to think that our offensive line right no matter who's out there and stuff they they know the personnel playing against them twice a year for so long of of green bay it's you're not going to be surprised with their you know their front line or or the different guys how they're going to play you sort of know that in your division and stuff but it doesn't mean anything. You got to go out and win this year. This year has last year has nothing to do with this year. But in your preparation, it could help with what you were successful with. WilbertSports.com chat thread rack says uh, Prime is great. I get everything on there. I just ordered deodorant the other day because I didn't want to drive to CVS. Probably cheaper too. CVS taxes. <laughs> no doubt. That's at Seven Eleven tax, yeah. man. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I just wanted to ask a question to the people, like. Do you, do you like these games? Like, do you like the Thursday night game? And I figured this would be the most representative time to ask, right? Because if I ask this three weeks from now, when, you know, it, it's a distant memory, like the Lions win tomorrow and they're cruising to, to the lead in the division, and people would say no because I don't want to watch Panthers-Texans. So they'll crush it and say no. I, I, I want to know. I want to strike while the iron is hot the other way where people are buzzing right now. Do you like it? Can we pull that one real quick? We can pull that. Do you like Thursday night NFL games? Yes or no? Tell us about Jeff I. Frady. Should I? Yeah, the Lions pregame And the Lions show. pregame show. I had the good fortune of being requested by the man on the graphic, Jeff I. Frady, to host a pregame show against the Atlanta Falcons. We broke it down better than anybody in this city. Comfortable win. As you heard here on the Lions pregame show on Woodward Sports. Jeff Iafrady, the host, the man on the graphic, the franchise, the network, all of that. Weekly special guest. And all you got to do, we'll get your NFL Sunday rolling. Sundays, 930 to 1130, we break it down like nobody else. We have Booner on there. Uh, we were breaking down the bets and things like that. I told him the bets I didn't like that he was doing. I told him the, like, the ones he did like. We were all in on the Aiden Hutchinson sack at plus 105. We got you on that that one we got you on that one again woodward sports lions pregame show hey scott lofton says the best the boys is the best show on tv it's corrupt superheroes yeah there you go corrupt superheroes okay yeah so like you corporate, corporate corporate superheroes, superheroes yeah Polit- politician superheroes the first, one, the first episode i'll give you a little spoiler neil starts with one of them he's like the flash is like his powers he's running drugs and he runs through a woman that's like standing on the sidewalk like it like slow mode, <laughs> she like explodes and everything. It's it's really good. Check it out. There you go. Yeah. Uh the ski mask boy, you won one bet, Neil. Hot. You guys gonna let him know or should I? <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. We are forty seven and fifteen. I mean it's like seventy eighty percent almost. You haven't 47 lost this football and fifteen season. with his get right. Give the man some respect. Yeah, undefeated in 2023. And technically, I listened on the way drive back from New Jersey uh, to the show. You nailed the all the bats, the, the Hutch sack, the the um, the Porta touchdown, and and uh, Gibbs combined over 75 yards. There you go. So there's four. If you, if you want it. Yeah, even the ones we just, you know, are in general with. Uh, Paul Thomas, I liked YouTube TV so far. Sunday ticket, it's okay. Bad thing is it's a little harder to navigate between the games. Uh, old Jarhead, good to see Old Jarhead in here. I forget Thursday night football is on. I do that sometimes too. Well, unless it's your, I think unless it's your team, right, where, yeah. where you're dialed in. And, and when it comes down to Thursday night football to my team this year, the way that, it's played out like it would be tough think about in the other in the opposite world if we come off a loss on sunday night we'd be just dreading this thursday night game even though we'd be talking about getting back to two and two i think because of where the injuries are and because of the time off and stuff like this to have if you can win these thursday night games right especially on the road which both of them are in historic buildings i mean that just will set you further upon and and if there's at any time having the confidence to go into green bay and win 
it's now even more than last year mm -hmm. right we were confident last year but we still had to see it we saw it and we know right i you know like i said again it's not Desmond Ritter this week. It's, Jor it's Jordan Love, and yes, I know what he did in coming back, but still, he hasn't shown me that he's that guy. And after coming off a seven and a half or seven sacks and stuff like this, guys got to be hungry. It's contagious. So I got to think the boys will be ready to, ready to go. It'll just be interesting to see who is actually in the lineup.